Hi, I'm Paul Martin. This is my documentary on the grey-headed flying fox. I'm at Yarra Bend, which is north of Melbourne's central business district. And there's a big reserve here of this species. While birds tend to be active during the daytime, flying foxes are mostly nocturnal which gives them less competition at night time to get their food. They eat predominantly fruit and pollen and they are very good for ecology and for pollination. They take pollen far greater distances than bees and birds do, often for many kilometres. and they often sleep with their wings wrapped around them shelter from the wind and I suppose to sleep better Unlike many other mammals found in Australia, flying foxes are not marsupials. They are placentals or eutherian animals. They got to Australia by immigration. Bats can't actually fly long distances, but with the help of strong winds, bats have been known to go distances of up to 800 kilometres. That's how bats got to Australia as well as New Zealand and Hawaii. Flying foxes are part of the uh, megabats. And megabats are actually, according to recent studies, more closely related to primates, lemurs and monkeys and human beings than they are to microbats. And it's thought that the similarities between megabats and microbats is an example of convergent evolution. The grey-headed flying fox is a protected species and causing the death of one of these animals can bring a $28,000 fine and up to two years in prison. In the wild, most flying foxes can live up to 12 years of age. In captivity, they've been known to live up to 22 years of age, but this is very rare. Flying foxes are often the victims of predators. Cobras, goannas and owls often prey upon these creatures. They've also been attacked by smaller birds such as the raven and the currawong, especially if they're alone. But flying foxes tend to have more strength in numbers. If the bats need to drink, what they'll do is they'll fly into the water and get themselves wet. 
and then they'll lick the water off their chest. This is October, which is mating season. When the flying foxes chew on fruit, the seeds often go out through their poop and then they germinate. So bats are vital to the ecology and they play a vital role. The flying foxes have a very acute sense of smell, especially for fruit and nectar, their favourite foods. They can also see very well, both at daytime and nighttime. If there was a lot more of these flying foxes, then they would be of a great benefit to the ecosystems. And this is the grey-headed flying fox.